Hi everyone, this is Snets, and in this video and videos to come, I will be sharing some experiences I've had uh, during my traveling uh, that I've done uh, late last year uh, to America and back to South Africa. And here in covering uh, dimensions such as facing jet lag for the first time <laughs> and uh, within this once again finding myself in a space in America and with the people I had the opportunity to uh, spend a substantial amount of time with you know how once again with returning back home, back to South Africa, you know, the change in the experience of myself uh, within me in a way, mentally, physically, in my relationships with others, my environment, um, and uh, everything uh, in between. So in this video, starting again with opening up more dimensions in relation to traveling blues. Uh, I have done a similar video some time ago, but in this video, more focusing on uh, an intense experience that came up within me when I returned back to South Africa um, from being in America. And this, you know, feeling that sense of a part of me is missing. You know, in America, I accessed, or it felt as though I accessed a, a certain part of me. And how I would define that was um, feeling more comfortable, uh, relaxed, um, easygoing. Uh, and why those words came up, comfortable, relaxed, easygoing, more content, at peace, um how what was the other word i felt like like okay i'm 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 in my place you know like i i found my place space my position my relationship with everyone and i had just this you know, almost natural flow within myself in who i was how i was how i was communicating sharing um interacting and Within this, you know, coming back to South Africa, I felt the complete opposite. Like I was, again, out of place, rushing, um, pacing, running after, getting things done, stressed, heart racing, mind all over the place. And you know, it was two complete different realities. So for me... Um, how I always approach things that I go through is I unconditionally become it. What do I mean by become it? I experience it. It's like uh, just for a moment and for as long as it is needed for me and how I need to assess, okay, what is this that's coming up in me? What am I going through? What am I facing here? And how can I get to know this a bit better to understand it more? to in that assist and support me but also everyone else so here i am sharing my findings of in a way immersing myself into these two polarities and how i from the two polarities learn to create a balance for myself uh, because our minds and i'm sure even many listening to this video might be going but clearly you know, when you're looking at who you were in America, that was good. That was positive. That's what you must be and become. Maybe you must stay in America. Maybe that's where you're supposed to be. Um, and, you know, here in South Africa, you mustn't be there. Or, you know, something's not right. Or there's misalignments. Or, you know, we... What I essentially want to show is my mind also went to that in more from the perspective of how can I fit who I was in America into who I am here in South Africa. <laughs> uh, you know, so I for a while then tried to do that. I was like, okay, let's see. 
this is who I am here. Now, how can I fit all of that into who I am here? Like recreate myself completely. And did that work? No. <laughs> it actually created more of an inner conflict within me because now in the back of my mind, I'm remembering all the experiences I had there and how I'm experiencing myself here. So instead of really effectively working through who I am here, I kind of quickly wanted to just suppress that on a level within myself and fit all of those experiences into and onto here, like literally shoving it in, you know, like we have this massive closet that is very dirty and full of all sorts of junk that we kind of just over weeks or months throw in there. And it can even be ladies who can uh, relate to handbags <laughs> where we don't even know what's in the dark far corners and pockets of our handbags. Um, but we tend to just want to keep on shoving new stuff in there. You know, um, There's just not space. Um, that was the experience that I had. And eventually, you just have to throw everything out. You have to open up that closet and throw everything out. Um, so maybe a practical example for everyone to be able to relate uh, is to have a look at that experience where we instead, when we do see a problem, instead of just opening up the whole problem, we tend to want to shove in different things or new things or just keep that space closed so we don't have to see it or recognize it. Um, that was subconsciously what I was doing inside myself. And eventually that inner conflict of me trying to fit an America me into a South Africa me, <laughs> I, uh, that inner conflict went rising inside of me and then it exploded. And what came through was my South Africa me that I needed to sort out. And... It was interesting to see everything that opened up within me because then I walked the following process. I dropped any, like, let's call it term or definition, like South Africa me and America me, because that created more of a tendency to create a uh, kind of a polarity in two different me's, and there's already a problem. Why am I different to here as opposed to there? Why did me as who I am not travel with me in a way, you know? Um, what went on here? And uh, in walking through all those dimensions, what I looked at was just the words. Okay, I looked at how would I describe me here and how would I describe me there? So I just started extracting the words and I was looking at an interesting point that opened up in me before I traveled that actually was the seed to creating this whole problem was that before I traveled, I realized there's a part of me that wanted to get away, you know, um, walk away from things, release myself a bit, feel like I can breathe, um, have that experience of just being with myself, um, being in a completely different place, space, environment, and people. But I'm not saying that there's a problem in doing that. That's fine. Sometimes we do need to get away, to step out of, to be able to kind of, you know, in that get a new perspective, a new sense, a new perception of ourselves an environment and everything like that. I mean, this is why this event was challenging, but a great gift because in all of this, I could see so many more aspects and dimensions of myself in where I am here that I didn't even initially consciously see, recognize and know because, you know, we get so conditioned into routine of being, thinking, experiencing and doing that we don't even realize what we're doing to our mental health, physical health, and life health until we step out of it. And stepping out, going to America, coming back, you know, and gauging again 
who I am, where I am, and what's my relationships with everything and everyone. It really opened up my eyes and went, wow, you need some introspection here, girl. So in looking at all of that, we are in the next video going to take into a con look into a contributory thought and experience that can lead to this traveling blues that can cause you to almost create a split inside yourself instead of realizing that when you travel, when you step out of yourself and your life, which is kind of what happens, and you come back, it's going to be different. You're going to see more, experience more, recognize more of yourself, your life, and your relationships as how it's always been, but you just didn't experience it because you got so used to it. All right. So now, what do we do with all this information? How can we use it to learn how to travel more from a practical support perspective? So I'm going to next time assert myself to travel where I go, okay, girl, you're going to go traveling. Is my starting point clear? Am I running away from anything subconsciously? Do I want to get away? Am I wanting to run from things that I'm actually not dealing with? Or am I using this traveling constructively to step out of myself and my life so when I come back, I can reflect, introspect, and see where I'm at, what must I change, and what can be done. All right, everyone, we'll continue more in the next video. Thank you very much.